Hey there, this is Rhinosaurus, and uh, this video continues off the last one about um, kick to bass side chaining. I'm going to explain a technique of doing bass to bass side chaining. So um, in this project we've got here just where we left last time, just a kick and a, and a bass line. But if you notice I've got four other channels down here which are um, just other bass sounds that I've, I've made in, in this tutorial pack. So um, I'll just put some MIDI across them, and what I'm going to do is just start putting in some um, some other rhythms with these bass notes. So let's just. I'll just turn the net previews on. What am I in here, G sharp? There we go, so now I've just got um, a little 4 by loop of some Psytrance bass sounds and some little sweeps and stuff and uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to get all of them sitting nice and tidily together uh, in the mix with side chaining. So um, we've got this sine bass line here as our main one, you can hear it just chugging along. And all these little stabs and stuff that sort of sit over the top of it. So I'm going to start with this operator square one. Actually I might filter it to actually make it sound a bit cooler in this track. But what I'm going to do is straight away, actually sorry, first I'm going to open up this rese um, return channel, make the first return and I'm going to rename it, just command R will do that. I'm just going to call it base send. And um, I'm going to turn off the A, turn off the channel completely. So um, now what I'm going to do is um, send this bass line from its send to the return, sorry, so it should be this one, A. So now what it's doing is sending a split of this channel and sending it into this return, which is now turned off. So I mean, you'll be able to see it metering there, but you can't hear it. And I'm gonna do the same with all of these. I'm just gonna turn them all the way up to start with. So now what I have is this return that you can't hear, but, it's all the audio from all of these bass stabs we've just made. So now I'm going to do is go over to this, um, the main bass line, which we haven't sent, which is just the standard, um, more rhythm dugga dugga. And I'm going to drop another compressor onto it after the kick drum. So, um, what I'm going to do again, pull out the little triangle, hit side chain, take the input, but this time I'm going to take it from the bass send that's actually turned off. So this is still going to receive a signal from it, we're just not going to be able to hear it. If I 
unsolo that, it might help. So you can see this gain reduction meter, it's coming from this bass end every time this clicks. So if I pull this up, you can see. So you can hear that's quite a bit tidier already. Um, it's pretty much just meaning that all your bass lines aren't, um, aren't interacting with each other and um, building up and making all sorts of weird peaks and phasing. And um, yeah, it's just going to give your mix uh, a much tighter feel. But obviously you've got to tune it and you can see here that um, there's a few overlapping notes here. So maybe what I'll do is take um, this op square and I'm just going to sidechain directly from that zebra sweep channel. <clears throat> so what that's doing, it's now pushing this zebra sweep over the top of this square wave, turning down the square wave, so this is the note, the sound that comes through more strongly in the mix. And um, yeah, it kind of works, so. There's a little basic Sartrance loop, and um, it's pretty easy as well to just go through and copy and paste the compressor from your kick to each of the bass channels, just to make sure there isn't any, um, any interactions there between your bass, between your kick drum and your new bass sound, sorry. So yeah, nice and tidy and controlled. But um, that's um, a technique that can be used for a lot of things. Um, you can set up your, you know, your kick and snare and send both of your kicks and snare to um to a, a return channel and then turn that off and then use that as a side chain input. But um, yeah, there's many different applications of it that um, you can use all over the place. But um, check out rhinosaurus.com for more tutorials and thanks for watching.